Hi guys, hello, hello, welcome back to the channel. Today I am doing soy braise whole legs. I've got two whole chicken legs here. I marinated them with um, my favorite adobo <laughs> and some garlic powder. And here I've got some sesame oil. I've got soy sauce. And I've got some vegetables here, garlic again, some pimentos, carrots, celery. I've got a tablespoon of cornstarch that I'm going to make a slurry with. So I'm adding it to this water here for our slurry. That's going to stir it up there nicely. And I'm going to add some brown sugar to that after. In the meantime, let's go to the cooker so i'm adding my brown sugar of course i'll have to stir it again because the cornstarch will settle at the bottom of the um the container the bowl so let's go to the cooker okay so here i am roughly i'm going to put in two tablespoons of olive not olive oil <laughs> uh soybean oil and let that cause my skillet is hot let that heat up there and i'm gonna put our whole eggs in let them get a bit of color put them down there i'm gonna gently fry it on both sides so we get some color about four to five minutes on each side okay so we have got a bit of color and at this stage now i'm going to put in some sesame oil and i'm going to add some soy sauce I'm going to turn these down. It's flashing up, so I'm just covering it. <laughs> For it to calm down a bit. Oh my god. Alright. So, right. so, I'll put a little bit more soy sauce. And I'm going to leave this on a low, very low heat and let it simmer up for about 5 minutes. Then I'll come back and add my vegetables. I'm going to cover it down there. Alright, so let's check it. Nice. So it would have started releasing its natural juices. If not, you can add probably about three or four tablespoons of water liquid just for it just so that it won't stick to the skillet and here i'm going to add now my finely chopped garlic i'm going to add my carrots I'm going to add some pimentos, not all. I'm going to add my slurry. Remember, I put some brown sugar in the slurry also. So it's corn, one tablespoon of cornstarch. 3 tablespoons of water and I added 2 tablespoons of brown sugar. I'm going to put that there. Again, I am going to put place the lid back on and leave it to simmer for about another 5 minutes. Okay guys, so at this stage I'm going to check the taste. Yep. 
If you find it sticking, you could add a little more water. I'm gonna taste it first. I need some more soy sauce. Yep, that flavor in there. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. I'm gonna put about two tablespoons of water. And let it continue to simmer so that chicken is going to be properly well cooked. Yep. I'm going to add in my celery now and my remaining pimentos. I don't have any spring onions to put in this today, but will taste just as great. So I'm gonna place the lid back on again. Yep, it's cooked. Mm -hmm. And there's no raw juices coming out of it, like blood or anything. So I'm gonna cover it back, put the lid back on, and give it another five minutes. So, ladies and gentlemen, here is our garlic soy braised chicken. Yep. I'm going to dive into it now. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, it's properly well cooked. Yep. Mm-hmm. And it is fabulous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Try it. Let me know. Adjust your salt to taste. Enjoy. See you in the next video.